what's up guys welcome back to the channel thanks for tuning in today in this video guys we're going to show you guys how you can participate in the polka dot parachain auctions guys this is not financial advice i'm not a financial advisor and this is just going to be a quick video on how you can participate in the polka dot parachain auctions make sure you guys dyor and look into each protocol before you guys invest or before you stake your dot, you do get them at the end of the period, but keep in mind, they will be locked. So let's go over a couple of protocols. Uh, first off, some of the protocols that you're seeing right here, these are on Kusama. Kusama is basically Polkadot's sister chain, um, but basically you guys can see, they're using these as a comparison, just so you guys can see. Like if you would have delegated to Moon River, one Kusama, which is about, 433 bucks, 500 bucks would have gotten you $6,000. So a pretty good return on investment. So basically when you're seeing these tokens here, this is actually showing you what you could have got with the reward. So one Kusama is worth 500 bucks right now. As you can see on uh, CoinGecko, yada, 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 whatever. But the point is you can see if you gave one KSM, at the time it was only like 250 bucks, you would have got 14 MOVRs, uh, which is 14 Moon Rivers. And the current price is 433 bucks. So basically you would have got 6,000 bucks for every quote unquote $250 of KSM you would have deposited. So that's a pretty hefty return on investment. Now, if you would have done the shit in, uh, it would have been $275 per KSM. So not a huge investment. Same thing with Karua and uh, Kahala and Bifrost. So obviously Moon River by far uh, was the best ROI. <clears throat> but still keep in mind that this is just uh, a couple of examples that they have. And here are some of the ones that are going on Polkadot right now. They got Akala, they got Moonbeam, Astar, Parallel, Latentry, and clover centrifuge crust uh, anyways um i'll go ahead and go over and give like a brief intro to them uh, but you can actually open up each and every one and it gives you a pretty good introduction but basically uh most of these are going to be DeFi protocols uh but basically what akala is is allows liquid dot and other DeFi primitives as well um but tldr on it is something that is going to be allowing like liquid dot and have a cross chain stable coin like a usd so this is going to be able to be minted out of your dot then you have something like moonbeam which is similar to moon river it's basically your smart contract platform on polka dot this allows you to create your different smart contracts etc if you guys don't understand how polka dot works it's similar to cosmos um but basically you have your own chain or your own protocols doing their own, own junk so like each pair chain has their own thing going on like it's not the whole thing, a whole chain is Ethereum and you have different dApps. No, you have Polkadot, which is the whole thing. And then you have different parachains, which are your quote unquote, different chains inside of Polkadot. And then each of their own, like Akala, Moonbeam, they have their own dApps involved. So there's actually a whole nother process. So Polkadot is kind of like your quote unquote layer zero. And then Moonbeam, Akala would be like your layer one. And then the dApps would just be like your dApps, just so you can understand it. Next you have is a, a star. A star is just basically being used as um, allowing different chains to add plasma or plasm to their protocol. Um, so you guys can read more about it and look into their investors that they have here and some of their partnerships that they have. I'm not super bullish on a star, but um, because I'm not super bullish, it'll probably do really well. <laughs> that's that's typically how it goes. Uh, parallel finance. Uh, this one looks pretty interesting. Uh, basically allows token holders um, to be able to use them in DeFi. So same thing like Aave, you deposit your tokens you, and you earn money with it. It's the same concept, same junk, different day. Um, it's a borrowing and lending protocol. I, I love these type of protocols. I also like Akala. Uh, Moonbeam, I would like it, but hey, I'm in the US, so I, I can't mess with that junk. Latentry is pretty interesting. Um, this is basically a identity protocol. Um, this is going to be uh, pretty interesting how it works in general because identity on the blockchain is, in my opinion, the future of what's going to be used as blockchains. You can store like uh, passports, um, healthcare notes, uh, 
cars nft like cars is in like deeds and all kinds of garbage um on the blockchain you can see some of their investors they got some pretty big investors um, but latentry is one of them as well then you also got clover finance if you want to know what clover finance is it's basically a smart contract platform as well on polka dot um, and it's basically specifically looking to building in DeFi. Now the next one is Centrifuge. I really like this one because this is actually bringing real world assets onto the blockchain. So it's basically tokenizing junk for you. So it's pretty cool. Uh, Crust Network, this is going to be like your decentralized storage. So similar to Arweave and Sciacoin, uh, Crust Network is basically a decentralized protocol or decentralized storage protocol. You can actually buy Crust as well as Latentry uh, right now, like on Coin Market Cap. Um, they also have Darwinia. This is basically going to be like your bridge platform, uh, similar to like Seller Network. Then you have Affinity. Affinity is going to be um, like your NFT or metaverse and NFT play. Uh, this is going to be able to bring a better experience with gaming and NFTs. Gives a better chain, a lot faster. It's similar to like Ronin. Uh, Ronin is going to be one of the pair chains as well. Um, I'm actually very interested in uh, Ronin and Affinity. Um, so I think those are going to, going to be pretty cool. Uh, now, Equilibrium is basically a DeFi primitive as well. Uh, this is allowing like decentralized stablecoins, synthetics, and so on. Uh, I mean, it, it's similar to like a BAL finance. Um, it is a farming coin type of thing, but it, it's still an interesting protocol. Most of these coins are farming coins anyways. Now, Manta Network, I really like this one because it's a privacy protocol. It's a Web 3.0 type of thing. This is allowing like private swaps and so on, similar to like Secret Network. You guys know how much I like Secret Network, yada, yada, yada. Um, but yeah, those are the first auctions. Now, auctions 6 to 11, these are the other ones. These are kind of to be determined. These are going to be way later. So right now we're just focusing on these different ones. Now, this is how you participate. So right now you can join the ones that say join now. I'll leave a link in the description below um, if you guys want to join the Akala one. Uh, this is one I jumped in as well. Uh, of course, it's not financial advice, but the link I'll give you will actually give you a additional 5% bonus. So it's a win-win. Why not? Who cares? So how does Akala work? Well, basically all you need to do into these auctions is it's really easy. And I also like Akala because when you contribute, your DOT, yes, it is locked for 96 weeks but you get some a dot in exchange. So you can actually swap that a dot back to regular dot and you can use it and you can actually participate in another crowd loan if you want. So it's allowing you to have liquid staking dot. As you can see, contribute dot to the liquid cloud loan vault managed by Akala and you receive two tokens. You get the a dot and you get the Akala token. So basically you receive Kala and the more dot you lock, the higher the rewards. Yeah, I get that point. And then you will re receive liquid crowd loan dot. So I see a dot, not a dot, but mine was a dot. <laughs> so I see dot allows you to access the underlying dot swap, use as collateral, mint AUSD and so on. So it's going to be used. And then in two years you can redeem your IC dot for dot. It's also known as a dot. But I already have a Polkadot JS account. This is the first thing you guys need to get. So in order to get a Polkadot JS account, there are some other wallets as well, but I really like the Polkadot.js. You just need to download this wallet. So you can uh, pick any of these ones that you want to. I would do the extension because I'm using a browser extension. You just download it. Make sure you save your private keys, keep them down just in case you drop your computer in the water or whatever, da, 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 da. you get the point. Next, now you need to do a couple of things. Connect your JS extension, boom, connected, boom, done. So I just contributed just some real quick, just to show you how it looks. This is just this random wallet I set up, nothing crazy. And I actually funded it with some dot from Coinbase. It was actually really easy. I just bought some on Coinbase and I sent some over here just to show you guys how the experience is. Uh, the transaction fee from Coinbase to my Polkadot.js wallet took like two seconds. Well, this is all you got to do. So you have a couple of chains. Allow any chain, Polkadot, Kusama. Make sure you're on the Polkadot chain. Once you're on the Polkadot chain, this address that you see here, well, half of an address, this is where you copy the address and paste that in your Coinbase account. If you are getting dot on Kraken, whatever, it's the same junk, different day. 
and you withdraw your polka dot there and now your dots are in your wallet now when you're ready to go ahead and contribute you say okay you have to for this parachain you have to donate at least one dot this will tell you how much dot you will get in on average so i'm going to get at least three as more and more people donate this will actually go down because well if more people are into the protocol well i'm going to get less and less and less and less because it's the same portion of a collar that needs to be distributed but across a larger number of participants so that's how you can understand it so if you want more of the akala tokens you do have to contribute more as well so like if i do three now i can get nine and so on so now let's just say i want to do one so now it's going to give the extra kickoff bonus and the referral bonus. I'll give you guys a referral link in the description below so you guys can get that. And it gives you a couple of notifications. It says, hey, the percent of Akala you'll get at launch is 20%. You are not gonna get 100%. It is only 20% of it. The dot lock period is 96 weeks. And then you have the IC dot unlocked at launch. So at launch, you'll get 100%. But keep in mind, your dot is locked for 96 weeks. So if you don't want to lock your dot for 96 weeks, well, think about it because you're going to be locking it for that long. Then you just say submit contribution. All right. So a transaction will pop up in your wallet. You enter your password, sign the transaction, and this is going to be the first one. This is no gas fee on this one. The next one is going to have the gas fee. It's very minuscule. It's like 0 0.001 dot or like 0 0.01 dot. It's like nothing. Um, so the point is, it's like, yeah, you push this through, whatever, um, you approve this first transaction. Then you go to the second transaction, approve that. And then it takes about six seconds, seven seconds. And then it says, great, you're done. Awesome. Here's your IC dot and your, um, Akala tokens, uh, enjoy. <laughs> so now these are a couple of questions you guys are, that's it. Um, that's, that's all you're done. <laughs> that's how easy it is. Um, so really setting up the polka dot dot JS connecting the wallet, and then going ahead and depositing the dot from Coinbase, and that's it, staking it or uh, locking it for or on a Kala and you get it. You can also use other wallets as well, uh, like Fearless, Math, Nova, Talisman, Polka Wallet, but I like the Polkadot.js. Um, so this is just from my experience, that's what I like the best. It's got the best UI, easiest to use, da -da -da -da, you get the point. So here's a couple of frequently asked questions. How many ACA will I get for dot support? Well, 17% of the supply is going towards the crowd loan. So you aren't getting like the whole thing, but you're getting a big amount. 17 is a lot. What's the minimum amount? Well, the minimum balance is that you need to have in your wallet is 2.1, but you can do a minimum of one. So you can actually do one, it's, it's, it's pretty cool, um, but yeah. If you're doing a mobile wallet, it'll actually require a minimum balance of 6.1. So if you're doing it on the computer, you need to have at least 2.1 in your wallet. It's just for like knowing that you have tokens in there. I don't know, it's just how the Polkadot, um, I guess you can say platform works. Um, it, it just needs it for gas. Like on Ethereum, yeah, sometimes you can get a transaction through, but sometimes like other chains will actually leave gas in your wallet because it's like bro you don't want to send all your money because then you're going to be like deadlocked have fun so how long will your dot be locked well if you didn't hear me like six times it's 96 weeks keep in mind uh, you will get the liquid dot so you can play around with that if you want when will you receive your aca well again you will get 20 percent if it wins and when the network launches, you will get the rest. So 20% if it wins, if it loses, uh, you get it a couple days after you get your return of the dot back and they just say, hey, thanks for trying. Um, see ya, here's your participation trophy. Oh wait, no, it's nothing. It's just your dot back. What wallets can you use? Can I use a ledger? Well, you must use the polkadot.js wallet extension. Ledger wallets are not supported at all. So keep that in mind. There are a couple of other wallets, but again, I like the polkadot.js. It's like on Solana. I like the Phantom wallet because it's most compatible with most of the dApps and chains on Polkadot. What is the difference between direct and a liquid crowd loan? Well, the direct is completely trustless, but gives you no access to the liquidity in your crowd loan. 
Liquid Crowd Loan requires you to trust the Kala Foundation, but gives you access to liquidity in your crowd loan contribution. So keep in mind, you are placing trust in the Kala because you are sending the DOT to them and they're giving you IC DOT in exchange. Do you need to sign up for the wait list in order to participate? You don't need to sign up. You can just go ahead and go and the referral link in the description below will get you the extra 5%. By the time this video hits to the public YouTube, um, well, you would have missed out on the bonus 5%, which is right here, extra 5% here. Um, but in Discord, uh, you would have already hit that. So in about five hours, this ends. So sorry guys, but I can only print videos so fast. <laughs> Um, and how do you get a referral code links in the description below? Don't worry about that. All right, guys. Uh, so yeah, that's how you can participate in a polka dot parachain. And, uh, this is on the Akala parachain. There are several other ones. Me personally, the ones that I do like, of course, it's not financial advice, but I know people are asking are things like Akala. Well, I do like Moonbeam, but now I don't because they don't allow us users. So it's, it's not now I don't, it's just, I, I can't. Um, I do like another one that's not on here right now is Hydra DX. That one's going to be sweet, sweet. Um, Affinity, I like Manta, I like Crust, I like Centrifuge, and Latentry and Parallel. Those are a couple of ones that I have my eyes on. But anyways, uh, time will tell. We'll see what happens. Thanks for tuning in. If you guys enjoyed this video, y'all know what to do. Like, subscribe, bell button, maybe. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, and if you guys want to jump in the Discord, link's in the description below. It's the Patreon link. It's the same thing as Discord. That is the Discord link. Um, that's just how it's set up. And basically what we talk about is some alpha. We talk about protocols that I really don't even talk about on YouTube. And I pop up a bunch of private videos over there that I really don't post on YouTube as well. And we just talk alpha in there. It's a lot of fun. Proverbs chapter 15, verses 27. The greedy bring ruin to their households, but the one who hates bribes will live. Y'all guys can also catch me on tweeters. Uh, it's at rent a home fast, like literally at rent a home fast.